I know it's a bit late for you know going over new features, but I'm going to be doing it anyway because I know CS6 will be coming out soon. The first uh, video I'm going to be doing is on the Mixer Brush, which is a really advanced new technology which involves 3D bristle brushes, it's, like simulates an actual brush, which is quite amazing. Now the first thing you'll notice is this here, which is the brush preview window. You can get it by going to view, show, brush preview. Now, these new bristle brushes, they really only work if you have a tablet pen, and it doesn't really work with my tablet. With a mouse, it only really does, uh, it just acts like a normal brush. As you can see, it's just it's just a normal brush, but whenever you use a tablet pen, you'll see that each bristle acts on its own. You can see it there. Now what you may be thinking is, this is basically just a smudge tool. And for the most part you're right, it's just like the smudge tool, it maxes colours like that there. But only with the mixer tool, you get to select a colour, as you can see up here. And uh, if you're just the max down a bit, if you keep rubbing in the same spot, it'll eventually get more green. If you do it with yellow, it'll eventually get more yellow. And with blue, you'll get more blue. This is great if you want to like, blend tones into a picture or something. Now, this picture was kindly donated by my friend Michael Way. He gave me permission to use it in this video, so thank you to him. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and make this picture look like a, a painting, not a, an incredibly useful technology, it's just really advanced. I can imagine the programmers had a very hard time making this. Okay, let's change the colour of the brush to green and I'll be back with you in a minute whenever I get this done. Okay, well, I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do with this. I'm really sorry, Michael, about your face. and It's just ruined that good photo, but that's not really the most useful technology. I'm sure some people, you know, it's the best thing they've ed ever added to Photoshop, and that, that's all they'll use from now on, but I really don't think it's, you know, worth it. But there are plenty of other features in uh, CS5 that do make it worth it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just going to revert it and show you what you can do with a, you know, just a regular filter. Well, that's what you get with a regular filter. That's what you I got with just like painting it manually. As you can see, it's ten times better, but has very limited uses. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. This has been Burkus Cat. Bye!